Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to our Estelia playthrough where we have slowly been driving through and uh, we, we've driven through and secured large parts of Estelia for the uh, uh, and re recreating the Bretonian territories. And I believe our next plan is to push into the Empire to try and save them. I want to do a bit of swapping. Will they actually let me do it now? I am Morgiana, Fey Enchantress of Bretonia. I want Quinelles. I don't want a war with them. For Montfort. Oh, one day. One day they'll let me do it. Oh, sorry, that's one of my work devices, Biggie. By the way, I do apologise if we get a bit of background noise. My dog is away. Is it awake? <laughs> oh, he just woke up, annoyingly. He's in the room with me, so he's he's nice and settled. So hopefully he's gonna stay that way. But well, we'll find out. Um, Direct me. I'm trying to remember exactly where we are and what we were doing. Uh, I do think it's time to push the empire. Well, push into the empire and restore the empire. As as mentioned, it guys, this this playthrough is definitely in its in its in its death throes of uh, this campaign is coming towards its end so suggestions for what to do next ideally something short because i'm very much um trying not to start i'm trying not to start a playthrough as the new world colonies yet because a i've been asked by red to hold off while he's doing what some updates thank you very much red that is awesome thank you for letting me know also awesome the fact that you are still updating and you're watching my video so thank you very much for that and also, obviously, we've got the new DLC soon, which will break everything. Oh, you guys can have Blackstone. Aye. Let's hear what you have to say. We'll hear it before Oath Gold. And I'll take a big chunk of your money, and I'll get all the alliances off you later anyway. Yes, General. Now? Trying to work out what to spend my money on. Nothing as it happens. Okay, there we go. So yeah, we are in a nice solid position. The orcs are still there, a bit of a threat, but the dwarves are holding them off. I did use to hold the Western Border Princess territory, but I, f I ceded it to the dwarves for peace. Um, and to use them as a buffer. Um, ooh, we've still got Skaven over there, but they're not too powerful for a change. Um, we'll keep an eye on what's going on. Uh, I do have a lot of armies in the north, and that is potentially foolish of me, but I, I think I want to, I want to push a large force into the Empire to try and bring it, into the Empire to try and bring it back under human control. Basically, I will feed it all to right. I'll, I'll probably feed it all back Make to Reichland if I can. I will, but I want more. Especially as you're pretty much... I think he's... No, he's not too dead. Um, Corny boy is my main worry over here, actually. Daft as it sounds. But yeah, I think we will push over into the... Into the uh, into the Empire. I keep saying this, so I'm not just gonna stop saying it now. The time for talk is up. God damn you. Well, we're gonna have to deal with that. That is a bit annoying because of their position, but they shouldn't be too difficult to deal with. Especially with how much I've got positioned. Oh crap. Forgot about that. To the provinces. Yeah. 
Ready? I want to move. Isabella is going to march. I have seen the way into the Empire. How should we proceed? I was going to send Paco as well, but I think I need him down here. Onwards! He can potentially go for here. I, I want to deal with these guys quickly. Speak briefly. Then remove your vile taint from the hallowed halls of Athaloran. Yeah, I was hoping I could just grab peace quickly. Never mind. They are potentially a little bit of a threat because they are kind of stuck behind me, but not that much. What does the Emperor bid? Can you tell I can't be bothered dealing with that yet at the moment? Uh, I'm a little concerned about here, but we'll, we'll keep it going for now. Just feels a waste to build anything else here. There we go. Gelt is still holding on there. I mean, Gelt is in a really odd position because he's. Man, gods and dubious it's his vampires, basically, he's got to deal with first. Oh. Oh no. That really doesn't bother me. They're so far away, it's of no real consequence. Until they literally appear on my doorstep in two turns' time, I guess. I have too many enemies at this point. Again, really wish you could just do it. So it, 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 if anybody from CA is listening, an update where you can select the range where you see people moving so you don't see them if they're on the other side of the world. You actually don't care. I know you can turn them off manually, but it's always, not always useful to do that. Oh, did they just kill themselves on Kingsglade? Technically at war with Daniel? Just what I need, more enemies. And plague. Greetings from Sigma. Of course. We will rebuild your land, Thrans. For you will thrive again. No, 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 that one. Just awesome. Yeah, I'm happy with all of that. We're once again playing, I don't actually know what to build in my settlements. Oh, if the pup cam was plugged in, which it's not at the moment, I'd turn it on to show you him, because he's just asleep with all his legs kind of entwined on my floor. It's quite cute. It's quite cute. I'm taking a picture of it to put on Twitter. Greetings, stranger. Uh, yes, but I want more. So Belagar is slowly becoming my friend. I'm a bit worried he will slow. It will eventually start to crumble, but who cares? He should not have. I mean, at the moment he's useful. Eventually, I will not believe. I will change my mind on that because he did go to war with me you know he he spawned his dwarves appeared out of the ground in my territory and uh 
Yeah. I have seen your heart. They are no more. March. Yes, Graf. Yes, my lord. Kick their butts. Yes, General. It will be an honor to war. Pick up the face. Empire's blessing. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's save the empire. The empire's still in existence, but it's not the not as strong as it should be. Yes, my lord. Hmm. Nope, grove, 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 grove. There we go. Basically, I want to build mob fort up to the point where it will be valuable enough that I'll be able to swap it around with the Bretonians. Otherwise, we're just going to have some border gore. Greeting, stranger. Dog heard me commenting that he was asleep and has now woken up again. So hopefully he's not going to start balking. Otherwise, this may be a very short episode, guys. Ah, somebody's banging around outside. That's why he's woken up. It's okay. <laughs> so I'm just trying to distract him. Ah, okay, I was like, where, where did that come from? Right. How should we proceed? They really didn't want to do this, did they? Sir? Oh, I'll have liked the money. The actual settlement itself is is probably better for me. And next turn we'll retake the world tree. More wood elves to slaughter over here with fire and steel. Who calls? Greetings from Sigma. It is a uh, Grumberg. Indeed. There you go, Frenzy Boy. So out here, I may well uh, keep some territory for myself. Like the Black Pit, I'll probably keep as a, as a trading outpost, guys. But also, I don't want to necessarily trade everything instantly. So like Middenland, I may take as ceded territory for myself, if you see what I mean. Or up here, somewhere, I'll take a ceded territory for myself to give myself an outpost. In Empire territory to operate from and to fall back to if needs be. What do you want tech wise? We're at this really odd point where I don't really feel I need anything. To the provinces! The orders? Uh. The comet. Here we go. I'll level up our Bretonian territories a bit more. Oh, I guess we'll get a pub. Uh. 
So I actually hold most of Athelore myself now. That's kind of depressing. It's kind of funny, actually. I mean, there are still wood elves outside of it, uh, obviously. Um, Orion himself, after I battered him, he fled and is now in, in massive Oracle. Pretending to be an orc, I guess. No, I do not want to join that war. At some point, I may have to send a force over to help, help out over there, though. Yeah, we'll see. Direct me. Slay him. How shall we proceed? There we go. Yes. Down to Nuln. What? Friends of the Empire, come. So be it. I'm trying to work out where's the best place for me to actually take in the Empire for myself. Um, Middenland or Tabakland would be good, good hold at, good positions for me to build myself in. Um, I think Middenland's kind of a traditional, it's right in the center, so I think I'm going to keep Middenland for myself. I've already managed to lose Garossal. Of course, they bloody well have. I want to clear up first. You are going to start heading back this way as the fast Empire. as you can. Bring me to battle. I will marshal the men. No, he's not. I don't want to move him yet. At the moment, I need to work on my economy, and I want to have an army at home, considering how spread out we are. Friends of the Empire, come. Yes. Why not? I oh, know they are. I was like, getting get, get confused about who I was at war with then. <laughs> I mean, he's only got one bit of territory, so that defensive alliance doesn't really give me much, but... Sneaky Skaven appearing. This is the danger of double-timing your end turns, guys. But at this point, you've kind of sometimes you've kind of got to double time your interns because too much is happening in them. Now, so he's going to come this way to try and secure this way. Magic? I will do as you ask. We are going to push down and sort get Karaburg, and then we are we're going to take yeah Middenland. It's, it's a nice sized region here in the centre. And then I can feed the empire around it to give myself a nice buffer state within their heart. Kill em. The empire.
No, nah, I'm just not spending any money at the moment. Greetings, stranger. No. Nope. Just in case, they. I'm not really that worried, but I don't want them sending something my way just in case. Ooh. Ooh, the other dwarves are beginning to expand again. Huzzah! It looks like the orc war is failing. Oh, tell me off for playing with my wedding ring, please, guys. Yes, my lord. Yes, Alright, let's hit here. Easy victory. Your orders? Move down and resettle. That's hard. that's hardly surprising there. Once we got all three armies here, what we will be we will really be able to start but pushing uh, pushing the pushing the empire's enemies back. Friends of the empire, come. Very well. Go. And anyway, guys, this is going to be a bit of a short one, so I do apologise. I am going to have to end this one here. Thank you very much uh, for watching. I do hope you are enjoying this. Uh, please do like and subscribe if you are, and as always, an extra special thank you to our channel members and patrons. That's Monsters Abound, Philip F, Nose Nose, Andrew T, Prataru, Brandon, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason Air, Egg, and Jared Horn. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Cheers, all.